Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a foundation review. I'm reviewing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've been sitting on this foundation a long time, actually December 30th to be exact, and it is January 26th. I know, I know, but we're gonna get into it. So what intrigued me most about this foundation is that it's supposed to be able to function in all lighting situations. They tested it under seven different types of lighting. The finish of this foundation is supposed to be matte, and I was actually looking on the reviews on the website which I usually don't look at reviews before but you know whatever <laughs> I was looking at reviews and people were saying that this foundation kept them matte all day so I'm excited to see I'm having high hopes for this foundation and this foundation was only $5.99 wet n wild is a cruelty free brand which is good because they don't test on animals animals are our friends <laughs> this foundation is in the traditional one fluid ounce which is good and it has 20 different shades which is also good but again like most foundations these days they don't have a wide range for women of color so there are a lot of shades 20 different shades but there's only five shades for women of color so that's something to think about and test out if you do fall in those five shades I actually originally bought mocha I think and that was too dark for me so I sent it back and I got toffee instead so yeah and there's not free returns <laughs> just want to add that in so make sure you don't have a problem with if you buy the foundation online and it's not your shade that you don't have a problem with sending it back and paying shipping because I know some people don't like paying for shipping I'm one of them people so I just want to put that out there so if you were to I did say this foundation was $5.99 if you were to purchase this foundation for $5.99 the shipping for me was $4.95 which brought it to $10.94 so like I said I do have mine in the shade toffee which is described as a medium deep neutral shade this foundation has a spatula applicator which can be a little unsanitary so I would recommend like putting the foundation on the back of your hand just the same way you would with like a foundation that pumps out and then transferring that onto your face like with your fingers or your brush or your beauty blender but I wouldn't put this on your face so we're gonna go ahead and apply this foundation and a lot of product actually gets on the spatula so that's a good thing that you don't have to keep going in to get more and more I did it twice and I already feel like I have enough foundation to do my entire face I do not prime when I'm getting the foundation off my hand it is very silky which I'm thinking is a good thing from now on I will be using the Sigma 3d HD kabuki brush on one side and then the black beauty blender for the other side so we're gonna start with the beauty blender side So it really is a matte finish. I really like the finish of it. It really looks nice on the skin. It doesn't look super cakey. So this is the brush side. So I like it. I like the way the foundation looks on my skin. Both applications look identical, so if you just have a brush or you just have a beauty blender, you should be able to get the same look using either one. I would say it's probably a medium coverage. I don't know if you can build it up, so I'm going to try to build it up now. So I'm gonna keep with the beauty blender on this side. Yep, it builds nice. Doesn't look like another layer. Some foundations, if you put on another one, it's like, oh, I just put on another layer. You can instantly see it. yeah so i really like this so far i've been sitting on this foundation and now i feel bad because it's like dog i could have been using this but i do notice that when i put it on my hand it looks like this and then you can see on the outside it kind of oxidizes just a little bit it doesn't look super bad on my face it looks kind of normal i'm noticing that my smile lines aren't creasing significantly as they already will try to do with certain foundations so that's two thumbs up already so one last thing i want to zoom up to show you guys the texture you can see that this smile line isn't looking like it's creased at all this one kind of is but this one is doing good and my forehead looks nice so this next part is going to be the get ready with me part so I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm using on my face to set it so just keep watching Alright, so I just finished applying all the rest of my makeup and my final thoughts on the foundation is that I really like the formula of the foundation, but I don't like the shade. I think in person it looks different than it does on camera. In person it looks like my face has a pink tone and then my actual skin has a skin tone, like a yellowish to it, but on my face it kind of looks 
slightly pinkish so I'm not a fan of the shade of it. It seemed like it oxidized a little too far um, but I really like the formula of the foundation so that's a bummer that the foundation shade isn't totally my friend <laughs> but I'm going to continue to wear this foundation throughout the day and I'll check in with you guys to tell you how it's wearing as far as the oiliness so yeah just keep on watching hey guys so it is 2 10 p.m and i am using my laptop because i am in the library at my college that i go to and i need to go to work after this so i can't really go home and my phone doesn't have any storage so here we go here's the first check-in so it's been about six hours since i applied this foundation and so far i'm not oily whatsoever and my smile lines have only creased slightly you can see just a little bit on both sides but i'm still liking the foundation as far as like the formula of it again the color i'm not too fond of so i have been wearing a scarf but my stuff is over there because <laughs> i had to come in a study room so i can actually talk in the library anyway because i need to get back to studying that's it for this check-in is really isn't anything to update you guys on just because the foundation is still holding up nicely but it has creased and it's been about six hours so that's a really really great that I'm not having a huge problem with all of this so we'll see you guys in the next check-in hey guys so it is 9 24 p.m. and so I've had this foundation on for about 13 hours I think today was a really long day I'm not even gonna lie I'm exhausted and I have cat hair on me my face is oily definitely I started getting oily at 5 p.m. that was around like the nine hour mark so that's really good that it took that long for me to start kind of getting oily but overall I think the foundation is a good buy especially for five 99 I mean it's performing like a regular foundation that you would find in high-end stores whether that's Nordstrom, Macy's or Sephora. This is a really great foundation to give a try. I will add however that when I walk into my bathroom that doesn't have these intense lights I'm not as oily as I am now. Every time I sit over here no matter what foundation I use when I sit over here in these lights and it's nighttime so they're even more intense that's when my foundation looks a lot more oily than it does like in regular lighting in my bathroom if I was to go right now to like a party where it's dark and I use a flash my face would be looking this oily so it's just a matter of like where you are this would be an issue for me to be oily so I would apply blotting papers or translucent powder or whatever to refresh my makeup so yeah overall I think the foundation is really nice I just would prefer the foundation to match a little more with my face and you really cannot see it I've already started to edit the first part of this video and you could not see what I was talking about my face it looks like it really does match my skin but in real life it's slightly off like slightly pinker and I don't like that I hope this review was helpful thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos and I promise I'll see you guys next time bye guys